What's up guys, Ryan from the MXG channel and AOMC back today. I've got a 2023 KTM 125 XC behind me. This is a new bike for this year, completely new generation. We've been talking about them on the channel uh, for over a year now. But I've got one of these here up on the lift and uh, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys real quick how to change the transmission oil on one of these. It's uh, you know nothing really to it. It's the same as any two stroke ever, but uh, I'm going to show you what objects you need for the change, uh, what oil you want to use, what your capacity needs to be, uh, all that stuff. So let's get started. All right, guys, I've got everything right here. You're going to need to change the oil in your transmission. Now, let's start off with oil. Top speed 4T. This confuses a lot of people. Yes, this is four stroke engine oil. However, this is what KTM and most manufacturers actually call for in their transmissions and clutches. This is top speed 1550. There are other transmission specific fluids you can run if you would like. However, this is what we recommend. This is what KTM calls for. Top speed 4T 1550. So there's your oil. I'll put a link to all this stuff down below. Here is a new copper crush washer. Part numbers here, I'll put a link down to, uh, to this down below as well. I've got some nitrile gloves. I've got a 13 millimeter um, ratchet and socket. And then I've got a Folgers Classic Roast coffee uh, can to drain the oil. It has to be a classic roast, cannot be a black silk. No, I'm just kidding. Anything to drain your oil in, guys, obviously. All right, let's get started. All right, guys, so all your oil change action on this two stroke is gonna take place right over here with this drain bolt. Now, before we start draining the fluid, it's always a good idea to warm up the bike because warm fluid drains better than cold. However, we've got a choice here before we start draining it. One, you can pull out the drain bolt and it'll just drain all over your skid plate and your frame, and then you can just wipe it up with a rag. Two, you can use one of our amp oil drainers. So with this thing, you'll lay the bike on its side, take the drain bolt out, screw this in, and then you'll put, bring the bike back upright, and when you drain the oil, uh, it will just come out this tube and down your drain bucket, and that will save you a lot of mess. Uh, or three, you can just remove the skid plates. Now, one good thing about this tw these 2023 models is uh, the skid plates come on and off very easy. The bolt holes line up very well, so you've got four bolts, one here, one here, um, two on the other side, pop your skid plate off, and that's an easy way to do it. For this video, I'm just gonna lean this thing over, throw in the uh, amp drain tool kit, and uh, do it that way. All right, guys, I've got a 13 millimeter socket on a ratchet. I'm gonna go ahead and remove this drain bolt. Gonna open up my amp oil removal tool. It's got an no O-ring on it already. Going to thread that in. Just needs to be hand tight. Okay, I got my zip tie removed. I'm gonna connect my tube back. Okay, now I'm ready to lift my bike upright and uh, get ready to drain the oil. You don't have to worry about the oil coming out yet because you have a plug in the end of your hose. All right guys, now we're gonna pull our plug and drain out our fluid. See how it's draining out the hose right there? We're gonna let that drain until it stops flowing. Now, while we wait for that oil to drain, it gives us time to inspect and clean our drain magnet. I don't know if you can see that or not. So this magnet's gonna pick up any debris in the oil and allow you, you know, to easily get it out of your engine. So we're gonna clean that off and it's a good idea to replace your copper seal ring or crush washer. The replacement crush washer is KTM number 580380-22000 and I will put a link down below where you can snag one of these from AOMC. Sometimes these last much longer than one oil change, but you never know. Um, sometimes I just keep reusing mine until I notice a drip, then I change it on the next oil change. Um, if you don't replace this, 
you might get the occasional drip. It's not going to be the end of the world either way. And lastly, while I wait for that to finish draining, I'd like to say that this process is going to be the same on all the new generation KTM TBI two-stroke. So that's 125 XC, 250 XC, 300 XC. The process is the same. Another cool thing is all these new TBI two-strokes use the same amount of oil. Doesn't matter if it's a 125, 250, 300, they all use 800 milliliters. That's 0.8 liters or 0.85 quarts. Okay guys, now that we have our oil drained, we're gonna go ahead and lean the bike back over. We're going to remove our amp oil filler tool, oil drain tool, excuse me, by just hand threading it out. You know, make, sure, make sure your drain plug's clean with a new seal. And we're gonna thread this back in by hand now, if you're very big on torque specs, it makes it really easy because KTM, um, they actually put the torque spec on the case here. They told you it was oil and they told you to tighten this at 20 Newton meters. Cool. Now we can bring the bike back upright and fill it up with oil. All right, guys, now we just need to fill it with oil and go. KTM makes it really easy for us. Like I said, 800 milliliters of oil. All your Motor X bottles, they have markings on the side. Your milliliters is over on the left, so you're gonna use this much. You're gonna leave 200 milliliters sitting in there. So we can remove our oil filler by hand. Now, another foolproof way, if you uh, don't think you got all the oil out or you don't wanna measure, you can take this eight millimeter bolt out right here and it clearly says oil level. So what you'll do is you'll fill this up until oil starts coming out of that oil level screw and uh, then you know your oil level is set. So we're going to fill this thing back up with 800 milliliters of top speed 4T1550 and we're going to be ready to go ride on this beast. So let's do that now and go rip. Thanks for watching guys. All the links are down below. Ryan with MXG and AOMC. I'll see you guys in the next video.